morning, church family. Obviously, this is not a fireside chat today. I had to come to uh, South Georgia to do a funeral. Uh, the gentleman that passed away was the first first, uh, first man that I ever gave uh, Bible studies to. I gave Bible studies to him and his family with my pastor. Actually, my pastor did it. I was too shy at that time to say much. But anyway, I came down and uh, shared with them that uh, God's plan is to renew our relationships that are broken by death and separation. And so just praying that uh, that message made a difference for this family that had been a bit discouraged and perhaps hadn't been attending church. Uh, and uh, so it was, a, it was a blessing to, to be of help to them. And uh, uh, an announcement I'd like to share is that um, there's a vacation Bible school. Our conference is going to have uh, a vacation Bible school hosted by Pisgah Academy. For our kids, there'll be an online Bible school. So a little bit different uh, venue for vacation Bible school. I'll be sending that uh, out to uh, all the kids that I know and uh, the, the link where they can uh, tune into the Vacation Bible Star School. It starts, um, I believe it's the 5th, uh, it's either 5th of June or 5th of July. I'll try to get that out within the next day or so, uh, so that people can, uh, can register for that. Um, also, this may be, uh, probably will be our last fireside chat. Uh, hopefully next uh, Wednesday we can uh, start prayer meeting back up as we were doing before the uh, coronavirus sort of shut everything down and I uh, had a very good week uh, uh, Sabbath with our attendance growing in fact we didn't really have any room uh, in our fellowship hall or in in the sanctuary uh, for more guests uh, we'll be spilling over into the fellowship hall this coming week again encourage those that are uh, not of good health uh, in those categories that we've been given um, that need to be very careful to be very cautious about coming back and uh, if you choose to stay away that uh, is certainly understood and encouraged if you have a pre-existing uh, health problem. Uh, a little devotional I'd like to share with you. Uh, this devotional um, is kind of a homemade devotional. Um, I'll begin reading uh, Proverbs chapter 16 verses 18 and 19 that said, Pride Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before fall. But then we see the opposite of pride. It, sees, it says, Better it is to be an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Uh, humility is something that we often don't give much thought to, but perhaps uh, if we understood God's... Um, God's the value that God places on humility. Uh, what we see perhaps as pocket change, God sees as uh, uh, infinite value. And uh, I believe that God would have us uh, adapt the humility of Christ in our lives. And uh, just a couple of paragraphs from the book uh, Faith I Live By, actually about just, uh, just a long paragraph, says the the men who humble themselves, even as a little child, are the men who will be taught by God. The Lord is not dependent upon any man's talents, for he is the source of all perfect gifts. The very humblest man, if he loves and fears God, is the possessor of heavenly gifts. The Lord can use such a man because he does not strive to work himself according to his own standards. He works with fear and trembling, lest he will spoil the pattern. His life is an expression of the life of Christ. Uh, we all seek to reflect the character of Christ, and uh, it seems like that when we study the character of Christ, the foundation of what Christ was all about was humility. Less of self, more of others are in Christ's sake, and uh, in Christ's case, uh, he was all about others. He wasn't about himself at all. And uh, this little statement ends with the words, We must consistently cherish meekness and humility if we would possess the Spirit of Christ. Now, I believe that's what we are all seeking, and by God's grace, uh, that can be 
uh, that can be reality in their lives. And I'll end with uh, the devotion with 1 Peter 5, verse 5 to 7. It says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. With God's care for us, I believe, uh, I believe we should be uh, free, we should be uh, very comfortable in humbling ourselves because of his great care for us. With his care for us, we can truly receive the blessings uh, that he has in store. We don't need to worry about his care for us. Uh, as we humble ourselves, his blessings become our reality. So pray that you have a good week, uh, the remainder of the week, and, uh, and let's have prayer before we go. Heavenly Father, we thank you that uh, Jesus came and demonstrated his humility. We thank you, Lord, that in Christ we can have, uh, we can have new lives. Uh, pray, Lord, that you will remove the pride from our lives this morning and that you will give us uh, new hearts in Christ. Again, I pray that uh, we will soon all be able to be back together uh, as a church family and as our guest. And, uh, Lord, uh, come soon. Deliver us from this pandemic world of sin uh, that we might experience uh, the, the humble presence of the glorious heaven that you prepared for us. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope to see you Sabbath at church. Have a good week.